This one, I hate Dan Daniel. <laughs> what? Makes me wanna damn hang myself. Look, I can cope with the odd internet trend, okay? Like what? that dress what? one that was going around last year, whatever it was, you know, where no one knew the color of it. Like, at least there's something to be said about that. At least there's some kind of discussion behind it. But damn Daniel, baby, that's, this is the new meme, the new trend, the new wonderful thing that's spreading around the fucking internet like a virus. Damn Daniel! Damn Daniel! <laughs> Oh, it's still stuck in my head. It's still so fucking funny. Woo! Damn, Daniel! Damn, Daniel. Am I just jaded? D is there a reason that I don't understand stuff like this? Or is it just that the majority of the people that use the internet are fucking idiots? <laughs> Damn. Daniel. <laughs> God, it's so funny! Damn, Daniel is a reference to a Twitter video montage featuring a voiceover of a boy remarking that another boy named Daniel, is dressed well on a series of different occasions. The narrator focuses on Daniel's shoes, leading the meme to be compared with... What are those? What are those? Uh, oh, what are those? I forgot about that one. That's a really funny one. <laughs> oh, this article remarks, <laughs> it's hard to explain why it's so funny. Here, watch. Damn, Daniel! It's not oh, no, even funny. Yeah. Why is everyone yeah, is fucking it, funny? Is it because he says he does a funny voice? Is it... Please tell me it's not because of the voice. It's the only reason that this meme is popular because he does a funny voice. Damn, Daniel! Back at it again with the white vans. Dusty man, damn, Daniel. To me, I see no difference in something like this. And say, for example, I placed a potted plant in the middle of a room and then pointed at it and just went, "D plant, D D plant, D D plant." That's not an exaggeration. That is precisely what this shit is. I'm not going to criticize what you think is funny or not because humor is incredibly subjective, but I think there is a reason that The Big Bang Theory is one of the most watched and most popular shows on television. Is it because of things like this? No doubt there'll be a damn Daniel reference in a fucking episode of The Big Bang Theory. You just wait. So now because this meme is absolutely everywhere and everyone's loving it, you get quality articles like this one on Hollywood Life. 
Joshua Holtz. Five things to know about the damn Daniel videographer. Check this shit out. Number one, he's a surfer. Number two, he skateboards, <laughs> of course. Number three, he's a big fan of rap music. Number four, he's got a celeb crush on Selena Gomez. Number five, he's had celebrity encounters. This seems like the kind of fuckboy I'd want to spend my time around. If those are the five things that summarize his existence, he seems like a quality well-rounded dude to me. I mean, who doesn't like rap music, am I right? You could assume all five of those points from looking at his Twitter banner picture. Like, come on. What's your problem? I hear everything. You're just a hater. You're just jealous of damn Daniel and his white vans. You just hate people liking things. No, it's not that at all. It's that it worries me that something so vapid and meaningless, something that even with context is not funny, something that in articles that are trying to describe the phenomenon cannot even describe why it's so funny, because there is nothing funny about it. It's the essence of an in-joke. They're called in-jokes because you have to be in with the joke to get the joke part out of it. I'm sure if you knew Daniel himself, then it would be a funny, laughy time for everyone. Hey look, it's Daniel, he's funny, but I don't know Daniel. In-jokes are inherently unfunny to the people who aren't in them. I don't understand. Even in the comments, people seem to be split. It's the voiceover that makes it funny. Otherwise, I don't know either. And Dark Shadow 667 perfectly summarizes the situation with eloquent words such as, it's the voiceover that makes it more retarded and annoying. Also super gay. Am I just too old for this shit? Right. Is there a certain chemical balance you have to have in your brain to find things like this funny? Is it the Big Bang Theory chemical? Because I certainly don't have that one. Look, I don't like memes at all. I think memes are the worst. But you know what? Memes usually... At least I can kind of understand them. I can see where the funny part is. I can see where the comedy... Comedy... Part comes from. But things like Damn Daniel and all these fucking memes, what are those? The joke is that they're doing a funny voice. And it's just some completely meaningless guff that you can apply to any situation. Like I'm sure for like a few days now, whenever something kind of crazy happens in school, people are gonna be like, Damn Daniel! And then everyone in the class will fucking lose their minds because it's so funny and hilarious and original. Wow, nice memes over there. And you know what, all you fuckers spreading this shit? I think you're going to do a good job of ruining Daniel's life. From now on, damn Daniel, that's going to be him. That's his personality summarized from now on. He's no longer Daniel, whatever his last name is. Now he's damn Daniel. On the streets, people are going to recognize him and say, Hey, look, it's damn Daniel. Ha ha ha. Point fingers, it's a living meme! You've turned someone into a meme! Once you've been memed, you cannot escape the meme! How's, how's a meme supposed to get a job? How's a meme supposed to be a functioning member of society? We've got to stop making the memes out of people! I'm sorry, Daniel. I'm sorry, I offer you my condolences. Do you think in 10 years we're going to need meme hospitals for people who have been turned into memes to be clinically analysed and sorted out because they'll be so fucked from being turned into fucking memes? Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Do plant. Do plant. Damn, Daniel. What are those? Do plant. I've had enough of that now. But I just saw another one as well. It's got a fucking lifetime of fucking shoes. And a surfboard from just going, Damn, Daniel! Oh, fucking annoying just me doing it. Fucking hell. But I just thought I'd do my view on it. It's near enough the same as fucking mateys. Right, it's the same. It is shit. I don't know how the fuck people think it's fucking funny, whatever it is. But it's annoying as shit.